Hello boys and girls, in this video I'm going to break down the various factors of what makes throws behave the way they do. I'll be going into detail about their ranges and positioning, the different kinds of throws in the game, and how they interact with the different types of hitboxes. There are certain rules of how and when they can combo, so I'll cover those situations, and finally I'll explore various exceptions to these rules and why they work. To make this easier to visualise, I'll be using hitboxes throughout the video, so let's take a look at those first for reference. The green outline are the hurtboxes vulnerable to strikes, projectiles and hazards such as Fang's poison V-skill. The yellow box in the centre of the body is the physical box. This is responsible for the ability to push one another around the map and also happens to be the hurt box, which is vulnerable to grabs. Throws, like all other moves, have startup, active and recovery frames. They have a set width and height that define their size and an offset that defines their position, and all of these values can differ from character to character. Throws can only collide with the space of the physical hurt box, and cannot affect hurt boxes which are only vulnerable to strikes, like those that appear from extended normals like Dalsim. Try as he might, Bison can't get a hold of them. By the way, if you're wondering why you've seen Zangief's grabbing limbs or comboing with EX Bosch Dynamite, this is because this particular air throw has a strike hitbox, not a grab type, making it able to grab hurt boxes and combo in the air. This means normal Borscht Dynamite cannot grab extended limbs, but EX Borscht Dynamite can. While the opponent is in hit stun, they're generally immune to throws. You need to delay it in order for it to work. Normally, throws cannot be cancelled or comboed into. If you try, the throw will just whiff and your opponent can actually punish you. They can, however, combo if they follow a crush counter or are a critical art grab. Let's take a look at ranges. Although Vega's throw is the smallest in the game in terms of its width, Chun Li's throw is actually the shortest in terms of reach. Her movement speed more than makes up for it to close the gap, but Vega will beat her in tick throw setups purely because his hitbox is offset further forward. Here is Zangief and Vega in freeze frame throwing from the start of the round. We can see Zangief's throw reaches further than Vega's. This makes perfect sense, Geef is a grappler, so throws are his specialty and he's slower so the throw range makes up for his mobility when he manages to get in close. So with this information, Sangi should be able to throw Vega in situations where Vega cannot. This isn't the case though. Although we know Zangi has a greater throw range than Vega, his hurt box is also a lot wider. In fact, his physical hurt box is 0.1 units larger and 0.2 units further forward, which means although he has the joint largest range from his centre, his effective range is not as good and he becomes very vulnerable. You can also see from the cross on the bottom that Vega also moves forward, meaning he can be out of range before he throws. The most extreme instance of this is Bison. Not only does he have the same range as Zangief, but his hurt box is 0.15 further back, making him incredibly long range and safer from throws himself within this range. From this, you can effectively say that Bison has the best normal throw in the game. That's it for throws. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I've certainly enjoyed making it, so let me know what I should cover next in the comments below, and I'll see what I can do.